Hello, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday. Um, I'm Scott Trello. The Browns game is uh, fully underway. It's 20-15. It's in the third quarter. So we'll call this, I know it's, I, I used to do it as a pregame show, we'll call it a pregame third quarter show because there's 10 or 3 to go in the third quarter. And it's 20-15 Chiefs. Uh, we'll talk Browns and NFL football. But first, uh, here is uh, today's Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday trivia question. Who scored the first... Who scored the Cleveland Browns' very first touchdown? Uh, I'll have the answer later on the broadcast. Uh, it's week nine of the NFL of the NFL football regular season, and the Browns are getting ready to take on. Well, they're taking on the the seven and one Kansas City Chiefs at at home at First Energy Stadium under interim co- head coach Greg Williams, uh, and Freddie uh, Kitchens is the uh, interim offensive coordinator who is uh, calling the plays and. Uh, Baker Mayfield is the starting QB. Uh, the Browns are coming up a 15-point loss to the Steelers in Week 8 last week. Uh, and the Browns are, really have their work cut out against the, the, um, against, the Chiefs this, against the Chiefs, a team that has a 7-1 record and are on top of the AFC, and are on top of the AFC South. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs have the best offense in the NFL. And here's four other things to, to watch for in today's game. The Browns take on on the Chiefs. Uh, uh, this is and they, this is the most difficult offense the Browns will have to face in a stretch of games featuring a difficult difficult defenses. Uh, that's one thing to watch for. And here are four more. Number two is it wasn't long ago that uh, Kareem uh, Hunt was tearing up the fields the field fields on Friday night. Excuse me, night. Excuse me, Friday nights. Excuse me, in uh, Northeast Ohio, <coughs> uh, putting up huge numbers at Willoughby South High School before halftime uh, most nights. Uh, Hunt uh, went to uh, Toledo, and then the Chiefs drafted him in the third round of the uh, in the third round of the NFL draft. He is nearing 2,000 career rushing yards already and has scored 13 touchdowns he's not uh an afterthought an afterthought in the passing game uh either with 73 career catches now he's stronger than most people think uh safety jabril safety jabril peppers said he's faster than most people think than most people think he has a great contact balance and center and center of gravity. He's a little thick around the legs, so when you hit this guy, you're you ha- you've got to wrap him up, or you're gonna bounce off of him, no matter what. By far, then there's Travis Kels. Uh, he was a third round pick, to, a third round pick too, and and the Cleveland Heights product is one of the league's top pass catching threats at tight end. He's on his way to his third consecutive 1,000-yard season. Uh, now, the third thing to watch for, yards after the catch. Uh, parts of what make the Chiefs so difficult is that is their ability to operate in spare. In spare, excuse me. Mahomes can hit hit the deep ball, sure, but Hall and uh, Khalees and Hunt are. A problem with the ball in their hands. Now, Khalees ranks first in the NFL among tight ends in yards after after catches after catch, which is why AC since entering the league in 2013 of his career, uh, receiving yardage 53.8% has gone after the catch, which is why AC. Now, according to the league's next gen- generation stats. Uh, Kelsey is number 10 and Hill, I said Hall by mistake, excuse me, and Hill is number 11 in the league in YAC, which is yards after catch, above uh, expectations. Uh, A stat that combines players' uh, yards after catch per reception versus his expected yards after catch. That means the Browns will have to tackle extremely well today. 
Now, number four, Freddie Kitchens, the new offensive coordinator, is calling the plays. Kitchens isn't re, uh, reinventing the wheel here. Uh, his system is the same as former offensive coordinator Todd Haley, who they let go this week, as well as Browns head coach, former head coach Hugh Jackson. Uh, but he's not like Haley. Uh, each player, each play caller will be different. So let's see what happens. See what Kitchens comes up with for today's game against the Chiefs. And uh, now the Patriots game. Will the Browns uh, play faster? Will the Browns offense be able to put the pressure on uh, Patrick Mahomes on the Chiefs offense? Will Greg Williams use Rashad Raheem? So we'll have to, these are things we're going to have to watch for in today's game. The Browns need to be ready and fired up uh, for today's game against the Chiefs. Baker Mayfield has to really, and the offense, have to really keep the pressure on Chiefs QB, Patrick Mahomes, and the Chiefs offense as well. The Browns offense and defense have to do that same thing as well. They've got to keep the pressure on. The Browns, have to, the Browns have a chance to win this game today, but I feel by far the Chiefs have the edge uh, in this game. But you never know. So we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, the Chiefs, are coming off a 30-23 to win over the Denver Broncos uh, in Week 8 uh, last week. The Chiefs will be looking for their third straight win uh, to remain atop of the AFC, of the AFC South, as the only uh, uh, one-loss team. While the New York Browns are looking to break a three-game skid. Now, the Chiefs, the Chiefs is, going to ha- is going to have to be ready are going to have to be ready for the Browns by far and really going to have to, to have the Browns' uh, number and, uh, and quarterback Baker Mayfield's number for sure. But the Browns are still in this game. It's 21-15 right now, as I've said, in the third quarter with 10.03 to go. Uh, the Chiefs have, have the edge, I feel, in today's game by far, as I, as I have just said. Well, uh, uh, elsewhere in the uh, NFL today, uh, the Atlanta Falcons will take on the Washington Redskins uh, at FedEx Field in uh, in uh, Washington. And Washington's coming off a big win last week, and Atlanta is as well. I believe they're coming off a big win last week. Let me do some look-see here. Uh, I know Washington's coming off a big win over the Giants last week, a seven-point win. And the, uh, I think, the Atlanta Falcons, I think, are coming off a bye week, I believe. That's what it looks. Yes, they are coming off. The the Falcons are coming off a bye week, so we'll see what happens in that one. That's going to be a good game. The Minnesota Vikings will take on the Detroit Lions at U.S. Bank Stadium in uh, uh, Minnesota. And, uh. The uh, Lions are coming off a a, a twenty a fourteen point loss to the Seahawks last week, and the uh, Minnesota Vikings are coming off a ten point loss to the uh, New Orleans Saints last week. So one, I think both teams are going to be out to win, but I feel by far Minnesota has the edge with it being at their home turf. The Pittsburgh Steelers will take on the Baltimore Ravens at M N T Stadium at M N T Stadium at Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, Pittsburgh is uh, coming off a 15-point win over our, our Browns last week, and the uh, the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, are coming off a 15-point loss to Carolina last week. So we'll see what happens in that one. Uh, the uh, and the Kansas City Chiefs, as you know, are taking on the Browns right now at. Uh, First energy stadium is 21-15. And I feel the Chiefs have to win in that one by far. Have to edge in this one by far, excuse me. The Miami, the New York Jets are taking on the Miami Dolphins at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And I feel the Dolphins have the edge in that one. Uh, the uh, uh, Jets, the New York Jets are uh, coming off a... a uh, a uh, 14-point loss to the Bears last week, and the uh, Baltimore or the uh, um, Miami Dolphins are coming off a 42-23 loss to the Texans last week. 
So both teams are going to be out to win this game, but I feel Miami has the edge in this one by far. I'll get back to talking about uh, the rest of the games in just a second in the NFL. But first, uh, here is today the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Uh, let me get back to where I... Hold on a minute here. Uh, trivia question. Who scored the the Browns' very first touchdown? If you said Max Speedy, you are correct. Browns receiver Max Speedy scored the team's first points on a 19-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Cliff Lewis, which was way back in the days. Uh, where I think it was way back in, I think, the 40s or 50s. But I have another uh, NFL trivia question, uh, another trivia question on my Monday Night Football game show tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. So uh, stay tuned for that. So uh, um, now getting back to, I'm going to go back to talking about the uh, the uh, rest of the games I was mentioning. The uh, Chicago Bears are taking on the Buffalo Bills at Ralph Wilson Stadium. I think the Bears are going to steal one on the road today. I feel they got the edge in this game. Uh, the uh, Bears are coming off a big win over the Jets last week, and the uh, the Buffalo Bills are coming off a a twenty uh, a nineteen point loss to the uh, Patriots la- from last Monday night. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will take on the. Uh, Carolina Panthers in Carolina today at Bank of America Stadium in Carolina. And uh, um, the uh, Panthers are coming off a big win over the Ravens last week. And the uh, the Buccaneers, uh, I think, I don't see them. I think they're coming off a bye week. So they were on a bye week last week. So uh, oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. The Bucks are coming off a three-point loss to the Bengals last week. They're coming off a three-point loss. Excuse me. Uh, the uh, For the 4 o'clock late games, those are all your early games, 4 o'clock late games, the three late games, uh, the uh, L.A. Chargers will take on the Seattle Seahawks at Cent- Century Link Field in Seattle. And I feel the Chargers are going to steal one on the road because I, I mean, even though it's in Seattle, the, uh, <coughs> the Seahawks are... Coming off a 14-point win over the Lions last week, and the LA Chargers are coming out. Are um, uh, I'm gonna see. I'm not seeing them on here. I think, I think the Chargers are coming off a bye week. They are on a bye. They're on a bye week. They're coming off a bye week. So the Chargers are coming off a bye week. But I think the Chargers are gonna have the edge in this game. Uh, I think they're gonna still win the. The Houston Houston Texans are taking on the Denver. Broncos at Sports Authority Field in uh, uh, Denver, Colorado. Uh, Houston's coming off a big win over uh, the Miami Dolphins last week, and the Broncos are coming off a seven-point loss to the Chiefs right now, last week. And I feel that uh, that uh, um, Denver has got the uh, edge in this game, and I think it's going to be uh, Houston. Actually, I but take that back. I think. For the Seattle uh, Chargers game, I think Seattle has edge in this game. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Uh, I really feel that uh, that uh, that Denver has the edge in this game today, and, and uh, I think it's gonna be a good game. Now, uh, the LA Rams, the only unbeaten team in the NFL, are gonna be taking on the New Orleans Saints at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. I mean, in New Orleans. Excuse me. And I feel the Rams are going to steal one on the road. And the uh, the uh, Saints are coming off a big win over the the uh, the uh, Vikings last week on Sunday Night Football. And the Rams are coming off a two-point win over the uh, Green Bay Packers last week. So we'll, I think the Rams are going to steal one in New Orleans today. And Sunday Night Football, the Green Bay Packers will take on the... Uh, New England Patriots uh, at Gillette Stadium in New England, and I feel New England is going to have this one by far. Patriots come off a Monday night win over the Bills, 25 to six, and the uh, the uh, uh, Packers are coming off a loss to the Rams last week. Uh, I'll talk about the Monday night football game in just a second, in just a moment. But 
First, we're going to take a break because I'm running out of the 15-minute time. So we're going to take a break. I'm going to download this, and I'll come back.